What's going on, everybody? This is your WOF Outlook and Discussion for Friday, April 7, 2023. And before we get into today's video, I hope everyone is doing well, remaining positive, and is always staying blessed. All right, you guys, taking a look at the surface map this morning, you can see the main weather event here is the heavy showers and thunderstorms that extends from South Texas here all the way across northeast towards the mid the mid atlantic states virginia north carolina you guys some very heavy rainfall has been ongoing along this stationary front and this weather pattern should continue throughout the weekend you guys and as we come here and take a look closer down towards our area southeast louisiana you can see we have some very heavy rainfall currently ongoing and this showers and thunderstorm activity is starting to approach the New Orleans area. So later on today, we will be in some heavy rain, which could lead to some flooding. And this heavy rain does extend all the way down into South Texas, you guys. So if you haven't done so, if you haven't done so already, you guys, please be sure to subscribe to your weather on the fly for, to stay weather aware and update as the Storm Prediction Center and the Weather Prediction Center comes out with updates. I have them on the fly for you guys right here in my shorts and community tab. All right, you guys, as we take, all right, we're going to get off the surface map, you guys, and we're going to take a look and see how the rest of this heavy rain is going to evolve here for today, you guys. Now, before we do that again, you guys, here we go. I'm jumping the gun again. I want to quickly show you all, which we really don't have no severe potential, you guys, but I just want to quickly show you guys Convective Outlook Day 1, which we do have a low marginal risk here right for the immediate Gulf Coast across southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi, which does include our area, New Orleans, and Ocean Springs along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And we're going to quickly run through this. As you can see, there's no tornado threat, you guys. We have a 5% hail threat. So we could see some hail potentially here later on this afternoon and evening across the area. And as we look for the wind probability, we could have a few locally isolated gusty winds as well, you guys. But it's not going to be anything too major or crazy, you guys. Just some very heavy rains that could lead to some flash flooding. So... That's just something you would really have to be on the lookout for. Now, as we take a look to see how all of this heavy rain is going to still continue to evolve here, as you can see across the mid-Atlantic, we still have some heavy rain going on across from Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, on into Virginia. But as we get closer to our area across Louisiana and Texas, you can see heavy rain should be still ongoing here even at the noon hour. As we move on to about 4 p.m. in the afternoon, you guys. All right, you can see, look at the heavy rain that overtakes the New Orleans area in the Mississippi Gulf Coast, southern Mississippi, just south of Jackson, on over towards the Baton Rouge area. Houston have a few heavy um, rain showers around, but it looks like most of that heavy rain will probably be to your north and west this afternoon and as we move on into the nighttime hours we're going to move to about nine o'clock you guys all right give it some time to load and as you can see we may have some of this heavy rain start to leave out of our area we may get a break here in the new orleans area but overall it's just going to be some heavy some decent amount of heavy rainfall here across the south from texas all the way on up into the carolinas and even parts of Virginia, you guys. And as we go into the overnight hours, we're going to take this to about two, three in the morning. And as you can see, the rain starts to pick up more here across Alabama, Georgia. Still have some showers could be picking up again here across the Houston area coming into southwest Louisiana. We could have some heavy rain again for the overnight hours. And as we move on to seven in the morning, you guys on Seven in the morning for Saturday. Let's check and see. All right, you guys. You can see we're going to have another round of heavy rains coming across southern Louisiana, the New Orleans area, Mississippi Gulf Coast. Look at the heavy rain that's going to be across Alabama, Georgia, the Atlanta area, Montgomery, Columbia, South Carolina, starting to approach North Carolina. This is going to be some heavy rain, you guys. And as we move on to about the afternoon on Saturday, 
All right, you guys, as you can see, as we move towards 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to start to be clearing out here across the New Orleans area, still pretty wet along the Mississippi, Alabama, Florida Gulf Coast, extending into central Alabama and on, on eastward Atlanta, South Carolina. So flash flooding will likely be ongoing in these uh, major cities as well this weekend. So I know a lot of people probably have a lot of plans, but please be weather aware, you guys. And as we move on to about 4 p.m. Saturday evening, as you can see, we may have a few showers still left over here across southeast Louisiana, but the majority of this heavy rain has pushed well to our east. And we're going to go as far out as this model takes us, which will be to 7 p.m. Saturday evening. And as you can see, the majority of all this moves out of um, southeast Louisiana, southern Mississippi. And it's on into parts of Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas, giving them some decent flooding range, you guys. But other than that, that's going to be the major story, you guys, for this weekend is the heavy rain that's going to be in the south. And before I go, you guys, I want to quickly show you guys the GFS because apparently... As I um I did a short earlier a few days ago and I showed that possibly the GFS is gearing up for the 2023 hurricane season that is as it showed a golf low forming and moving into the Florida Panhandle. Well, you guys, the GFS has been continuing to show this possible golf low forming, so I kind of want to bring this all to you guys. Let me um get it. Let's see. This is about early in the morning on the 11th. This is possibly forming. Let me get there, you guys. All right, here we go. And this will be for this Tuesday coming up, 7 a.m. this Tuesday. As you can see in the Western Gulf, we're possibly going to have low pressure forming. We moved to 10 o'clock just south of the Louisiana coastline here, which this could be this could be a very heavy rainfall event here for, for parts of the southern Louisiana and western and central Gulf Coast, you guys. So we're going to pay very close attention to this. This is for Tuesday night. That Tuesday night, you can see some heavy rainfall with this low pressure area still over the Northwest Gulf, funneling in all of that moisture here across Southern Louisiana. So we will have to very much be on the lookout for another flood threat for the beginning to middle of this upcoming week, you guys. And as you can see, we go into Wednesday, 7 a.m., the GFS still has heavy rain funneling on in here with this low pressure system, even as we go towards Wednesday evening. So it's going to be something that we will pay close attention to, you guys. And I want to quickly show you all the European, and this will be courtesy of Tropical Tibbets. And this will be for the same time, valid Tuesday morning. You can see low pressure just south of New Orleans here across the central Gulf. We move this on into time. You can see as we get towards Tuesday afternoon and evening, this low starts to turn here, you guys, starts to ramp up south of the central Louisiana coastline. And this will be Wednesday morning on the European. We have a bona fide low pressure system here south of our coastline, most likely funneling in a lot of moisture here. And as we go into Wednesday, and now here we go Thursday morning, you guys, the system is just to the west of the mouth of the river here. Still funneling in some moist, still funneling in moisture along the Gulf Coast. So this could be some very heavy flooding rains that we will need to pay attention to. And as you can see, we get into Thursday, this system starts to move inland along the Mississippi, Alabama Gulf Coast. So you guys, if you haven't done so already, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I will have the latest on this system and this heavy rain as this continues to evolve, you guys. Everyone be safe, be careful, and we will come back tomorrow morning and take a look at this potential golf low. Be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.